Well, I think as a couple, they've made a conscious decision to put themselves out there. And I think there's something else that Harry can't control, which is what the people think about him. And if you look at the... Well, I think as a couple, they've made a... Does Harry have any right to privacy now? I think we all have a public face. We all have a private face. OK. Uh, Matthew Goodwin, your response to this. Does Harry have any right to privacy now? Can he go and have court battles over his private life, given what he's now done to his private life? Well, I think as a couple, they've made a conscious decision to put themselves out there. And I think there's something else that Harry can't control, which is what the people think about him. And if you look at the polls on yeah. Harry and Meghan, and I spend a lot of my time looking at the polls, well, I've never seen a brand collapse this hard this quickly. Uh, since the end of last year, both Harry and Meghan are down 40 points. We've just had a poll in America which shows he's less popular now than Prince Andrew in America. Right. Uh, so, as a brand, and I just think... just anecdotally, I've been bouncing this latest thing off people. They're like, let me get me straight. He's flown all the way from L.A. for a, a, a part of the process he doesn't need to be at, just to be in the papers, going through the front entrance, and he's laughing. Yeah. What kind of thing is, is he thinking he's representing here? What image is he putting forward? I think they think they're the underdogs going up against the system. But the public won't see that. But in the middle but of a cost-of-living crisis we haven't had in 100 years.